You're listening to the Precision Shooting Podcast, discussing all aspects of precision and long range rifle shooting. This episode is brought to you by Projectile Warehouse. Find your perfect projectile. And now, over to your hosts. Well, hello and welcome to the Precision Shooting Podcast. Uh, my name's Rusty, and this is a episode uh, shot pretty well shot. Recorded. That's the word, isn't it, Tom? Yep. The uh, this is basically at the uh, we're at the Castle Main for the Precision Service Rifle Shoot today, and it's a beautiful sunny morning in Castle Main or Castle Main, as all the uh, locals seem to want to say, but they're wrong. You're wrong, Jared. You're wrong, mate. It's Castle Main. Vic, uh, Tom, you're from Victoria. You. What do you say? Castle Main. Good man. Good man. So, um, Tom is with me. This is this is your first comp, isn't it, Tom? For for this type of shooting. First for this site, yes. And you shot the PRS earlier this year. Yep, the one in Mildura. And uh, how are you feeling for it, mate? Uh, not ready. It's a different style of shooting for me, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> you nervous? Uh, not nervous. Just interested to see how it goes. Yep, with a hangover. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're willing to admit to, I get it. Yeah, I understand. So, again, in this episode, we're going to be uh, keeping uh, keeping you guys updated how the day goes and how people are going and taking some interviews from people. So, uh, we will no doubt catch up with Jared, who puts this on, and uh, Simon and Brian are here also from, uh, they run the one in Sydney and the one in Canberra as well. So, no doubt we'll get some uh, thoughts from those guys. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So Andrew, you're uh, you've shaped up a bit average this morning. Yes, very average. Do not stay the night before and try and take out the competition. It does not work. <laughs> well, it just depends on how uh, how good your stomach is, really, isn't it? Yeah, not very good this morning. So you feeling confident, mate? You've had a bit of a. I know you haven't changed your equipment yet. You're working on that, aren't you? Yeah, working on it. Soon enough. So yeah, should be a good day. I'll be very steady. No crazy movements. Not not so uh, PRS y, is it? Um, and what are you running today? Just the Tika um, Sporter 308 still, so seems to do the job and fit me well. So Very good, mate. Excellent. Well, good luck today after your uh, successful uh, event. Last time we spoke to you on the podcast was just after the uh, the Vortex uh, Cold Steel Open and you uh, took out production, mate. So we're expecting big things today, real big things. Uh, it'll be good. It'll be right. I'm just going to wake up. It'll all be good. <laughs> How many coffees you had so far? Three. <laughs> and, uh, but I did get rid of one earlier. <laughs> I, I'm glad you're willing to admit that on air. That's great. <laughs> good luck, mate. Thank you. Cheers. With me is Simon Ross. How are you this morning, mate? I'm very good, mate. Rusty, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Good sleep last night? Oh, absolutely superb. Had a few uh, few quiet ones and then, uh, yes, got my head down quite nice. Didn't watch the rugby because apparently it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, These are the important things in life. So you're, you're ready, mate? You're uh, obviously, as, as many people will know, you run the one out of Canberra. And uh, this is the, the sister event down in Victoria. You excited? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just noticed the wind's come up, which is quite unusual for uh, first thing in the morning. So... So I might walk up down the range and uh, find out which way it's going, but no doubt when I got on the line it all changed. So, but yeah, now I'm just out here in front of the uh, Breda stand checking out the latest toys. They look pretty schmick. Yeah, well, that's the point. Breda are here and have bought a bunch of uh, toys to have a little play with, which is nice. It's good to see industry getting on board with this sort of game, isn't it? Absolutely, no, it's fa- absolutely fantastic, especially when you see um, sort of the innovation and new technology coming through and the latest and greatest. So yeah, I'd like to get my hands on one later, but we'll never know. <laughs> All in good time, mate. All in good time. So yeah, and uh, any strategies for today? You just, uh, I mean, you're ex- you're pretty experienced at this. You just rock up and do your thing and win. Yeah, exactly right. Luckily for me, the conditions are not. <laughs> luckily, for the conditions are similar to Canberra, so normally the um, the dope's about the same. Um, let's worry about the temperature, but it looks like with that breeze, it'll keep the temperatures down a bit, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, that's what I said. The wind's quite unusual in this range because normally it's uh, quite a stable range. So, but it looks like it's coming in, into sort of our six o'clock. So, yeah, it should be right. And look, like a lot of people here too, which is bloody fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah, full turnout for this event, uh, I believe. It's 48 places booked and uh, and hopefully rocking, all of them rock up and uh, we continue on. So there is a lot of photos being taken of these uh, these guns, isn't there? There's a lot of cameras going around. Yeah, exactly right, mate. Like a face was going to go wild with all the uh, posts coming on later today, which is good. But no, yeah, no, it should be, uh, like I said, hopefully we get away soon because long drive back, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, mate. Oh, well, uh, good luck today and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Oh, so morning, Jono. How are you? How are you? Good, good. Good. And, uh, and and this is your first match here, mate? Yes, this is my first match. 
Yep. Is it your first match of any sort like this, or have you done similar? Uh, no, I've done um, the F class before, but I haven't done a PRS. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he, I took uh, like your courses, the intensive course for five days. So um, this is what I'm. This is what I learned from. <laughs> You're confident. Yeah, uh, good. I'm not confident, but I will. Uh, I will try. You know, just uh, just to have fun. That's all you can do, mate. Just here to have a have a crack. So good luck to you, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Okay, thank you, Rusty. W- have you done any practice for it? Uh, no, actually, I just finished loading my rifle um, two days ago. <laughs> so I haven't. Uh, so this is just going to be my practice time. Brilliant, mate. Well, good luck, and uh, you take ne- next year more seriously. That's the plan, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Next year, next year I'll be serious. Yeah. Good luck, John. Cheers, mate. All right, thank you, Rusty. Hamish, first uh, first match, mate. You've been out to watch one of these before. How you doing? I'm well, thank you, Rusty. How are you? Going good. Going good. We're uh, ex- it seems very excited down here at the moment. Yeah, it's a good night. The Beretta stands good. It's uh, I like the Vitrix rifle. It's uh, probably the biggest rifle I've ever seen. <laughs> the uh, the truck axle and the uh, the bolt on that are rather imposing. Yeah, not so uh, not so ideal for this particular match, I imagine. But a, a very nice setup. We uh, we have. Uh, yeah, as, as we mentioned before, Beretta down here, it's good to, to have you know bits and pieces around to get your hands on. Look, there's not a lot of movement, so it probably wouldn't be that bad. That's uh, a lot of prone shooting, so might be all right. Quite uh, annoying for the people shooting next year, so that could be a good thing, throw them off. Yes, that's right. It's, uh, it's certainly um, a lovely, lovely piece of equipment. I'd like to mortgage the house and get one. <laughs> Excellent. Just don't tell the wife and you should be fine. So uh, have you, uh, are you ready for today? Are you, are you keen? Yeah, yeah. It's um I shot Canberra a couple of weeks back, so I got all my dopes squared away there, I think. I hope. So I've had no practice since Canberra and now, but we'll go. We'll talk about fun. At least you've at least you've had a crack. That's the that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, look it's uh, it's a beautiful day and uh, I can't wait to get shooting to be honest. Excellent. Well, uh, hopefully it's not too far away. We just had our newbies brief, and uh, next one is the the main brief and then I guess we got to get some gear together and go out there and shoot. Oh yeah, get our gear together. <laughs> you look nervous, mate. Well, good. Best of luck today, mate. Thank you, Rusty. See ya. Good morning, Brian. How you doing? Good, thanks, mate. Yourself? Going all right. Now you run the one up in Hornsby in Sydney. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, and you feeling confident for today? For today, mate. I'll tell you about half past three this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so no uh, no expectations. Just give it a crack. Yeah, just give it a crack, mate. Hold it in the centre and do the best you can. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll come up smiling. If not, always next year. Absolutely, or uh, or the next uh, Sydney shoot, always exciting. Yeah, very true. First uh, first one next year is I think in May, fifth Sunday in May. So get along. Uh, we'll have some uh, publicity up on the Facebook site. And thanks to our sponsors for helping us bring the uh, the matches to the masses. So get out there and have a go. I like the uh, the motto matches to the masses. Good move, mate. Good move. Well, best of luck today and also with Sydney for next year. No worries. Thanks, mate. Much appreciated. So we've been through the scientific process of choosing who shoots first and uh, the toss of a coin. We're shooting first. So, Jono, you uh, lost the to- coin toss, mate. Yes, yeah, I got the I got the butts um, uh, <laughs> details, yep. Is it, I don't know if that's good or bad, actually. No, it's good, actually. Um, uh, I have no idea what to do, <laughs> yeah. Well, I just watch first and uh, see how um, uh, it's, it's a steep lear- learning curve for me. So, I guess you, you practice shooting, but you didn't press, practice uh, tossing the coin, mate. Maybe next time you can put some effort into that. Yes, maybe next time, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, good luck, mate. Yeah. All right, so it's time to get the gear. I um, actually don't know what I need. We'll work this out, I guess. I'll give it a look. We'll uh, let you know we're on the line. All right, so we have moved onto the line now. I've been partnered up with uh, Dave from Beretta, who many of you guys on the podcast may know. Dave, how you doing? Oh, pretty good, man. Just, uh, yeah, getting amped for it, you know? <laughs> Enjoying this nice sun, getting a tan. Yeah, nice. That's something you may see in Canada too often, huh? Hey? No, you really don't, so hopefully I don't end up uh, singeing myself out here. We'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> cool, mate, and you're, uh, you're, this is the first time you've had a, a crack on this, so um, how you feeling? Ready ready to roll? Oh, yeah, I'm ready for it. Let's do it. We'll say it looks a bit further at this distance than the range I usually shoot at, but hey, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> Isn't that because it's 25-metre range or 20-metre range? Yeah, something like that, you know. <laughs> so you're right, it is a bit further. Um, so we are on... Uh, have we got a team name? We definitely need to come up with a team name. Um uh, yeah, we'll work on that for Dave and I to come up with team name, and we're uh, we're in lane number seven. So Dave's going first; he's the alpha male, and uh, and I'm team Bravo, uh, so I'm going in second. So we're gonna we're gonna work on our team name. Uh, Dave's gonna get ready, and uh, I think we're taking shots in the next five minutes or so. 
and Tom's looking at Tom's giving me the eye going shut up stop disturbing me I'm focused on the shooting Tom it's going to get worse mate it's only going to get worse so uh, hopefully you can survive mate good luck Dave thank you man same to you So Dave, we're on to the third serial, mate. How you going? Yeah, pretty good. It's a bit uh, confusing, I'll say, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to say I'm uh, I'm challenged. Yeah. I'm challenged spotting uh, without any steel impacts. I'm so used to people shooting steel. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm having that issue too. <laughs> yeah, it's not so easy to see where the uh, the bullets uh, impact. If they do, you still get the kick up because they fly through. But anyway, we uh, we're still going. You're getting some shots off. We got ACDC in the background because. Uh, Malcolm Young passed away today or last night or something we believe so in tribute to him we are rocking out uh, still still working on the team name uh, pretty beautiful day the guys next to us are hating us because we've got music cranking and chatting away and uh, but anyway that's their problem not ours yeah pretty much I guess <laughs> all right so we're back into it this one's Hawkins mate we uh, we uh, here we go here we go we get the call a couple of series into it now for me shooting I uh, don't really know how I've done. I think I hit the first target and I think I hit a couple of shots on the second. So we'll see. We've now got a, a tiny little target, a little paper target to put five rounds through. Um, I think there's a bonus round. I don't actually know what it means. But anyway, gun seems to be going all right. Um, yep, as usual, it's just a shooter. Still no update on team name. But you know, with this much suspense, it's got to be something good. How you doing, Fabian? Enjoying it, mate? Absolutely. Heaps of fun. And this is your first time out doing one? It is, yep. Yeah. Been meaning to do it for a while, but come and give it a go finally. Awesome, mate. Good to have you out. And uh, good luck today. If we uh, stay next to you, I guess we'll get a bit of an update on you going. How would you go in the first few, first detail? Uh, it was, was an experience. Uh, <laughs> I think I ran out of time. Sorry, sorry, mate. We're up. All right, so we've just finished our, what are these things called, details? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like details? Yeah, I reckon they're details. I was going to say, uh, looks like meters translate to yards, all right. They're almost interchangeable units there, you know, these distances, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you just favoured a little bit. Well, you end up with a team name by the end of it with the Maple Wallabies, uh, given the uh, nationalities we represent. Um, uh, that was that was good fun. Interesting, yeah, it's interesting. You enjoy yourself first time, mate? Yeah, man, we came here uh, to be uh, have fun and be polite, and uh, I think we accomplished both of those, eh? <laughs> we smashed the polite bit. We absolutely smashed the polite bit. We didn't offend a single person yet, you <laughs> All right, so now uh, now the role is for the, the guys who have just shot their detail to go and um, go into the butts and put up the targets for the other shooters. So... Um, we're going to check down, I'm going to check down with them and I'm also going to check back with the uh, other shooters and we'll give you a bit of a live update as we go along. Before we do that, I'm going to grab Tom and Fabian. Tom, how'd you find that, mate? Uh, good, apart from shooting the wrong target twice in a row, but other than that, it was good fun. <laughs> nice, and, uh, and and you got all your shots off and did everything you meant to? Yeah, speed wasn't a problem, just the accuracy. <laughs> 
Nice. What about you, Fabian? Uh, I had problems with speed and accuracy, so uh, we'll see how we go. And, and perhaps eye relief as well. You may have issues with... Uh, you've got some blood trickling down your face. Yeah, my first ever touch-up. That's uh, always good fun. Was that, was that in Hawkins or something? Yeah, absolutely. First time shooting Hawkins, so... Right, excellent. Well, uh, not so polite from the Canadians who invented Hawkins there, but anyway, they uh, drawn, drawn first blood. That's what I like to see. All right, we'll, uh, we'll go from here. All right, I'm here with match director uh, Jared. Hey, how you doing, Jared? Yeah, not bad. Is it going all right so far? We're halfway through the match? It's all right. Rain's keeping away. It's a main thing. Yeah. Humidity's up there. <laughs> yeah, weather's, weather's pretty good, to be fair. It's quite nice, comfortable, warm, but, but not bad. Yeah. That's all right. It's, um, the wind's blowing, which is what I wanted. Castle Main's a forgiven range, um, so when the wind blows, it uh, puts a few people off. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we want, and uh, it's certainly been uh, challenging, but it's been really mixing up. Like we're getting, like right now, very, very little, uh, and it's been been up a fair bit, um, even between you know, during the the serials, if that's the right word for it. Yeah, no, it's good. We could feel it down in the butts. The wind would switch sort of mid mid serial, so and you could see guys getting thrown off left and right. So that was good. It's always entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> nice, mate. Very good. We're putting together a good match, and it uh, looks like everyone's enjoying themselves. That's the that's the main thing. Yeah. Yep. Um. All going to plan so far. It's good. After two years, everyone knows what they're doing. So, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Except for us newbies. We uh, we struggled a bit on the beginning. But anyway, all good, mate. We'll, we'll let you get back to whatever you're doing and uh, we'll carry on. No worries. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to run through this match uh, now they've shot it and uh, and these guys are going. So they're on live now. Uh, so you may see us in the background shortly. Uh, but I'm just trying to find the uh, program. There you go. So they're at 400 yards, shooting what's called a snap. Uh, so the target will basically ex be exposed for five seconds, up to five times, and it's just one round per exposure. Now the challenge with this one is unsupported. So effectively, no bipods, no bags, no anything at the front of the gun or on the gun. They're just using hands to hold the gun in the air and shoot. Now I think once they hit, I, I believe that the target disappears uh, and that's it. So I think it's just a one hit scenario i'm gonna you got up to five shots but i i believe that's the case that's what's happened when we did it the target disappeared and never returned so um it's a, a challenging one 400 yards and it's on a what do they call a figure 12 target reasonably sized target um not too difficult to get a hit i guess so we'll, uh, we'll see how these guys have gone Seems there's a bit of confusion about whether it was hit or not a few times, but anyway, it is the way. Alright, so first serial down. Next one's at 400 yards again, so we, we stay here for a number of serials. This is a rapid, meaning they shoot rapidly. Uh, it's any prone, meaning they can use bipods, bags, anything they like. And it's five shots. And they've got 15 seconds the targets will be up for. So it's fairly quick. It should be fairly loud when we uh, get this one. So there's a number of... Uh, we've probably got about 20-something shooters in front of me. And, and half of them shoot at, the, at this one. So these are the alpha shooters. And then uh, the other 10 uh, will be the bravo shooters. And they're basically taken in turns at the different distances. And go through all the serials and change shooter, all the serials, and then move distance. As you can probably hear, that wind is now starting to pick up. Uh, flags are blowing around. There's two flags here, I think. One at the shooting line, one at the butt stocks, just to indicate that it's open. Not much else. Andy, you're, you're still going, mate. Have you been shooting yet, or not you? No, no, I'm, I'm going second. I need extra time to relax, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you got the whole morning off so far. You've done all right. Yeah, I know. I've drank about four litres of water. And eating a banana, and I feel better. <laughs> much better, much better, mate. And how's your uh, your teammate going? Yeah, he's going all right. I think he got a third round hit there. Um, so yeah, it's always hard unsupported, as I'm sure you just found out. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not pretty. All right, mm, back on. Here we go. Two with a magazine containing five rounds. Load. <laughs> so this is the rapid five shots per person. Fifteen seconds to do so. Detail, instant, serial two, watch that shoot, 
Watch and shoot. And that was it. Okay, we're on to the third serial. This one is a snap again. Snap me sort of turns and then goes away. And it is at the 400 yards still. We use a position called Hawkins, which is a uh, position invented by a Canadian uh, where the fist uh, is under the front of the gun used to support it. And then you sort of, sort of your shoulder sits on top of the gun more. So it's a very low profile position. Once mastered, it's actually really stable. It's that whole mastering bit that's the challenge. Uh, and so in this one, they'll actually be alternating targets. So they'll be shooting one shot on a small target, one shot on a large target in one exposure and then uh, the exposure will last for 10 seconds uh, and then they wait and then it comes back again there's five of those 10 seconds exposures so uh see how the guys go there's a lot of nerves here particularly for the first uh, first shooters been a bit of confusion on the line already some guys swapped over shooters but it's designed to be one shooter it stays on for three serials all right, I'm with Jeff. Jeff just uh, just got off the gun, mate. How's the uh, the comp treating you so far? Uh, it's not too bad so far. Um, wind's died off the second half, so that's um, okay. benefiting us, which is good. Yeah. And you're using uh, something different to normal? Yeah, this time I'm um, shooting a Hauer 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I put 20 rounds through it yesterday, and so far it's going pretty well. Yeah, no no problems, mate. And uh, has the um, I'll let you do the clear. And so as, you've shot a number of these matches, haven't you, Jeff? I have, yeah, um, for the uh, last probably year and a half, so. Yeah. Okay, and, and this one compared to those, is it easy, hard, about the same? It's about the same. They're all quite challenging, um, especially in the hot conditions. Yeah, okay, this is not too bad, though. We're, what, low, high, thir high 20s? Oh, I'd assume be about 30, yeah. Yeah, maybe low thirties. It's quite comfortable. Although I see people wearing jackets in this weather, and I don't, I don't quite understand. I've barely got any clothes on at all. Yes, well, sometimes you need it. <laughs> I was wondering how you were going to comment on that. Thanks, Jeff. Good luck for the rest of the day, mate. Thank you. So on to five hundred yards now for the next three serials. This first one here is a moving uh, target, and. Uh, yeah, well, we'll go down the butts and make sure we sort of cover some of that. Um, but effectively, it's a target that the guys will be walking across the area. And the shooters have five exposures. So the target will come up five times. Each one for about six seconds. And each time they see the target, they can put two rounds at it, hoping for two hits. Uh, a lot of people not shot movers before. So it will be interesting to see how the uh, results go. But we might head down the butts and have a chat to the guys about the move targets. I'm making my way down to the butts where the targets are put up to be shot at. I've never been in the butts of a rifle club before uh, as generally I shoot steel and you don't want to be anywhere near the targets when you're shooting steel. So in this match you've got moving targets which is literally guys holding a target on a piece of wood and uh, walking it back and forth. So anyway we're about to make our way down here and uh, we'll see what the guys are doing. Alright, so I'm in the butts. Made it down here safely. Uh, I'm sitting next to Simon. And uh, what's happening, mate? Give us a rundown on how this place works. So this is um, where we have a, a detail change. And so if you've shot, you've just come down here to operate the targets. We're just getting ready for the first mover. Um, we have, obviously, the still shooter A, shooter B, man every single target. So normally have someone operating the target, someone does the scoring. And, um, and yeah, we're just waiting now for the command up at the firing end. It's all run from the firing end to, uh, to get into it. So, yes. I like how complex the movers are here. They're, uh, they literally are a piece of paper on a stick. Walked back and forth. Yeah, it's uh, five seconds, and the idea being is you walk at a slow moving pace to give the guy at least half a chance to um, be able to engage the target. And so the idea being is give it a bit of a lead, and then with the wind and the lead, there's your challenge. Here we go. Here we go. We might uh, 
I have to get this going. So, on to the second one at 500. This is an agony snap. So the idea behind this, um, by the name, is to put people in positions they don't really enjoy. Uh, so it's prone, unsupported. So, you, again, you're just holding on to the front of the rifle, basically with a strap, uh, nothing more. And you are, you've got 10 rounds. There are 5 by 15 second exposures, 2 rounds per exposure. Now what makes it tough is they are, this goes on for 4 minutes. So for 4 minutes you have uh, to be sitting there, prone and supported, or resting in between as much as you can. And when the target comes up, you get 15 seconds to fire 2 shots at it. It's, uh, it was challenging. I think they actually reduced the time rather than 4 minutes for us. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's certainly good fun. Um... This is one of the tough ones, uh, certainly one of the real challenging ones. All right, John, our first question, mate, only question for you. Are you having fun? Yes, I'm having fun. That's it, that's the main thing. And how's the shooting going? Uh, the shooting, oh, it's very hard because I never practice um, shooting like um, unsupported. I usually shoot with um, rest back, and, and so this is quite tough. Yeah. yeah. But you, you are smiling. You are smiling. So as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's good. And and your uh, your shooting partner is smiling as well, so it can't be all bad. No, 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 no. It's not that all bad. <laughs> I'll practice some more. I'll come. I'll come back the next. Time. And you'll be back. Yeah. Perfect. You'll be back. Yep, yep. And and Ron, that with yourself, you enjoying it, mate? Yeah, no, having a good time, and just realizing how how quick you have to be, and mm. you've got to be spot on with everything. You got to be quick in these last ones as well, actually. So, all the best to you, mate. All right. Good luck, guys. Last one at 500 is a rapid, so five rounds uh, within 15 seconds, uh, shooting Hawkins, so the fist under the front of the gun and sort of shoulder on top of it, no bags, bipods, that sort of gear. Uh, Hawkins is a, is, is a really subtle position, but you do have to nail it and definitely practice it. Uh, so last one for 500 yards, and we'll have a chat to the guys afterwards how they're going. It's sort of hard to interrupt them because it's so quick from serial to serial, even shooter change real quick. All right, Gareth, you're, uh, you've just finished your cereal there, and we're heading down to the last one for the day. Uh, how's it going so far? Yeah, really good. Got to practice on the prone position. Really struggle with that, but I think I'm doing really well other than that. Excellent, mate. Now, I've, I heard a rumour you're a pretty darn good spotter. Uh, any any tips or advice? Oh, just call it as it is, and loud voice. Just scream it, but call everything, even if you weren't sure. Just practice. Keep, just your, eye, keep your eyes open and don't blink. It's a uh, it's a very unique skill set, isn't it? It is. It is. A lot of people who uh, you know, work on their shooting but don't necessarily practice their spotting, and it can, can be quite challenging, particularly on paper. Yeah, that's it. It's just as important because if you're not sure where your bullets are going, there's no point actually shooting a bullet. So. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And uh, well, good luck for the rest of the day. And uh, you think you'll be doing all right, or yeah, uh, not sure? Oh, I think I'm in with a go. I reckon it'll be all right. I love the attitude, mate. Good, uh, good luck to you, and uh, hope this last one, these last couple, are uh, quite tough. Hope this last one work well for you, mate. Good luck. Thanks, Rusty. All right, crispy. How's things going, mate? We're through. Uh, what two thirds of the day? Only the score sheet knows, mate. I like, uh, I like the modesty, mate. How, uh, how easily you're smashing it. I, I want to know the real answer. Luke, Luke is smashing it. Luke, how you, how you feeling, mate? Feeling confident so far? Uh, no, not really. No, he's been telling me you've been going all right. <laughs> he might be lying. Uh, we'll find out at the end of the day, mate. Good luck. Good luck for it. All right, gentlemen, two cereals left. How are you feeling? Yeah, all good. All good. We're hitting targets. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good thing. It's a good start. How about yourself, mate? Uh, I'm the man in the shadow. We'll get this bloke over the line for this year and we'll play next year, I reckon. He's carrying me, Rusty. He's carrying me all day. Well, mate, from what I've heard, you need someone carrying you, all right, after last night's fair effort. Yeah, never again. I think I've said that before. <laughs> how, how, how's the arch enemy going? Oh, I think he's been struggling, but he's going all right, I think. Yeah, I can tell you're smiling, so he must have been struggling a bit. Yeah, he was earlier. I don't know. 
but I've gotten a little bit too bloody busy. <laughs> it, it does go that way, though. I noticed that about this match. It's just sort of like bang, 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 and then it's all over. It's really quick. You don't get that sort of squad time to hang out with people and chat. Yeah, it is very fast moving. Um, just find, yeah, you really got to manage your time well, otherwise you find you're chasing your tail. Um, yeah, just keeping magazines full and just when you got downtime, using it wisely. So. And not talking to people trying to record podcasts with you. Sorry, mate, I'll let you, I'll let you go and get back into uh, getting ready. I don't want to hold you up, all right? Good luck. All right, so now it's 600. We've only got two cereals here at 600, so only two left. This first one is a deliberate, I mean, deliberate meaning the target's up the whole time. So it's a figure 11 target, for those who know what that is. And this is a combination of uh, two different positions. So first it's prone unsupported, and you take five rounds uh, like that. Well, after you shot five, uh, you move into Hawkins and take ten rounds like that. 90 seconds all up. Now, I didn't... I d- forgot when I was running this one I forgot uh, what the details were and so I've shot thinking it might have been a snap and it was going to go away and it didn't go away and I uh, dropped three shots I think uh, didn't get them off so anyway it's uh, it can catch you out in any time but uh, the guys are about to if you can hear the arrow the guys are about to get stuck into this one so we'll have a listen detail serial seven instant watch and shoot Watch and shoot. Wait on the targets. Up. Up. Same time. Low left. Come right. Two inches. Low left. Right one inch. That was high left two foot. You were two inches to the right of the edge of the target. Not seen. You were right two inches. Maintain! Maintain! You're off to the right, two foot! Come left, two inches! Maintain! 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 Time is off! That was very hard to see in that mirage. Good spotting, Gareth. Nicely done, mate. Thanks, Rusty. It's pretty hard hard conditions out there in the moment with that wind and mirage is making it a little bit blurry to see the splash. But yeah, it's only it's only just recognizable. That's right, how do you reckon he went? Oh I'd say seventy percent were a Either fours or, or fives. But there was a few off, a few like two foot misses type thing, but should be alright. Right, well that was that was it. Lots of rounds and lots of confusion. Uh, lots of misses, probably some hits as well. So the guys are moving on to their last cereal for the weekend. Uh, let's find that. It is a 600 yard snap on moving. I actually really enjoyed this particular one. So what it is, there's 10 by 5 second exposures, and each exposure you get one round. So you have 5 seconds basically to line up the target, and work out what it's doing, and shoot. And those targets are either static or moving, and you won't know which one or what order or anything like that. So it'll pop up, it might be moving, it could be left to right, it could be right to left, or it could just be staying there. And it's quite... Um, Fun, <laughs> quite challenging. So uh, anyway, we're going to see uh, again how these guys go. Uh, fairly quick sort of setup, but you'll sort of hear it quiet for a little while and then uh, and then loud. So last cereal for the day. There is a bonus round afterwards, bit of a fundraiser, but the uh, 
this is the last one for the day and then we go and have presentations Jeff, we're done and dusted, mate. How'd you go? Um, yeah, on the last serial, I did a lot better than expected. Um, everything seemed to come together for me and turned out really well. Happy days, mate. You could be, uh, you're feeling pretty confident there. Sounding good. Yeah, fairly confident today. Um, hopefully, you should get a decent score. Nice. And, and I actually haven't paid any attention to the scoring with this type of thing. So what's like, a, it's, there's a maximum score and then we hope that we get close to that? Well, we hope so. <laughs> um, so I think the score's about 350, and we just try and get as close as possible. Okay, no problem. Then what is what is a normal score, or is that is that no such thing? It varies a lot, but a lot of people get around the 260, 280 mark, which is very good. All right, cool. Well, we'll, uh, we'll stay updated. I have been told that the scores are pretty low this particular comp, so... We'll see whether many people crack the 250 mark. Yeah, I think a lot of it came down to um, shooters shooting the wrong targets, but that's just life, I suppose. It's a pretty uh, common life lesson, actually. Very good, mate. Well, good luck with your results, and we'll catch up with you. Got Tom here. Tom, how you doing, mate? Good, mate. Tired. How'd he go for you? Uh, not too bad. Better than I thought on some, and not as well as I hoped on others. Mainly the uh, unsupported prone position was a big letdown for me, but other than that, I was pretty happy. Yeah, I was uh, very much the same. Unsupported prone was not an easy one, but good fun. So uh, we've got our scores back, but we haven't got the overall results. So we, we know we're bad, we just don't know how bad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way. one way to look at it. Fabian, how'd you, uh, how'd you go, mate? It was uh, good for you? Yeah, definitely had a lot of fun, but uh, similar story to Tom. Yeah, do well, oh, well relatively well on some stages but uh, less so on others but shows you what you need to practice now and what you need to do in the future and um, yeah but definitely had a lot of fun and if nothing else you got a cool scar now yeah <laughs> an extra eyebrow <laughs> yeah very good mate well as long as you got out of it and you the same did you look through and have a bit of a look at what you could work on what's sort of struggling at the moment yeah, I mean, um, all the supported stuff, you're reasonably comfortable and, um, I mean, it's always good to practice that as well, but definitely the unsupported and Hawkins and things like that that you don't normally shoot, it's important to do. Very good. Excellent. All right, well, let's see who else we can find and see how they went. So I've got, found some more people to annoy. Jeff, <laughs> you've now, we've, we've spoke to you before and now you've seen your scores. You're still smiling. Well, you got to have a smile, mate. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Did you go as, as well as you expected? You're pretty confident. Um, I got pretty much exactly what I thought I'd get. Okay, all right. Well, you've shot a few of these, so you know you know what to expect, I guess. Yeah, um, it's fairly similar each match, so yeah, I didn't do too badly. And what um, do you know? What you got to work on? Like, is, is there something in there that you go? Oh, I'm always not great at that. Um, probably the sling. Yeah, that would be the biggest um, one for me. Yeah, the unsupported position really is challenging. Are you going up to Canberra for the last shoot? Not to Canberra, no. So next season you'll be back into it? I'm hoping so, yeah. Come early next year I should be back in. Awesome, mate. Very good. Right, how did it go for you, mate? You've got scores back. Happy? Yeah, it went all right considering. I think it was a pretty tough day out there for everyone. So. Yep. Um, yeah, really happy with how I went. So. And what, what areas do you need to work on? Oh, unsupported and Hawkins. Just need to change the Hawkins set up a little bit. Um, yeah, with the long single stack magazine in the middle, just not really working for me. So, but yeah, all in all, I'm happy. So. Very good. And uh, I guess we uh, you came for a next season? Can you come back and do it all again? Yep, I'll be here. Probably open next year, though, so then I'll get my ass kicked. But, you know, got to learn somehow. <laughs> That's right, you've been shooting NATO. Yeah. Yeah, very good. All the best for next year, mate, and uh, hope you do well. No worries, mate. Thanks a lot. Well, a massive thanks to Jared and all the other helpers here at the Precision Service Rifle Shoot. It's uh, been a good day, good fun, and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the uh, audio we can put together from it. 
Uh, make sure if this is the type of shooting that interests you to get along next year in 2018. There's going to be uh, a number of these matches again, Canberra, Sydney and uh, Victoria. And uh, making sure that you uh, get along, have a shot and meet a bunch of really good blokes. Going to advise you if you do come up to uh, Castle Main, make sure you get there the night before. It is, uh, it is a really good social environment as well with uh, good people. So look forward to it. Make sure you practice Hawkins and uh, and the sling position. Even if you're not very good at them, have a shoot anyway. Guys, thanks heaps for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Precision Shooting Podcast. To continue the discussion, check out our Facebook page. And for more information, head to our website, www.precisionshootingpodcast.com.au. This episode was brought to you by Projectile Warehouse. Find your perfect projectile.